Randy Robinson here at LifeToday.tv, and I am proud to have Craig Groeschel, the founder of Life Church. Yeah, Randy, I'm glad to be with you. We, we've actually got 14 campuses right now okay. in um, uh, five different states, wow. and we're going to be launching a couple more this year, and, and finding it's a, a real good way to take the church to people instead of just hoping people will come to church. Yeah, and they don't have to necessarily be on one of your campuses. They can go online. Absolutely. LifeChurch.tv. Correct, yeah. And check out all the great resources. You guys have done a really good job, by the way, of, of putting those resources online so that people can watch it anywhere. So Thank you. You want a good uh, message? You want a good online church, something to be a part of uh, at home in your pajamas? LifeChurch.tv. Make sure they're wearing pajamas or anything else Ill illegal. Is that the way? Okay. That's what we say. Anyway. Is that what you tell them? I don't know if they follow it, but we... <laughs> We won't, we won't check up on that. So now you've got a book coming out real soon called Weird. Right. Who's, who's the weird people in your book? Well, hopefully we're going to be the weird people in the book because... I've been to a few churches. I think you have some good candidates. Yeah, I, yeah that's right. There are some, <laughs> there, there, there's a good kind of weird and there's a bad kind of weird. Okay. And so okay. the, uh, kind of the premise behind the book, Randy, is that uh, the, the subtitle is Normal's Not Working. And uh, I think when, when you look just at the world today, you, what you see, you know, normal is overwhelmed, overworked, stressed out. Mm -hmm. Normal is broke, worried about money. Uh, unfortunately, normal is divorced and they're you know, struggling in relationships. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I really try to break down the verse where Jesus said that, you know, many are on the broad road that leads to destruction. And so often I think people we find comfort in, hey, I'm like everybody else. But in so many ways, I think just flowing with the, the crowd leads to a place that's not going to be best on earth and ultimately in heaven. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus said, you know, narrow is the road that leads to life and few find it. And so if you are on the narrow road, um, living life in a different way, most people will call you probably weird. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm trying to do is help people be weird in what I call the God kind of way. And, uh, and I think that's so much better than what normal is. We've got a lot of normal pastors, mm -hmm. you know, unfortunately, uh, you look around and there's pastors that, that, uh, that aren't separate from the world in, in a sense. What, what do you say, what's kind of your message to that church leader that you want to encourage them to be weird in a good way? Yeah, I, I, you know, I have such a heart for pastors and, mm -hmm. and love them, and so I, I hate to ever hurl criticism. Um, but you know, I do think if, you know, I think that we shouldn't conform the church to culture. The, the church and the message of Christ should penetrate and transform culture rather than the opposite. So I think one of the, challenges. I, I think the pendulum swung from like probably when you and I were growing up, church was kind of boring, dead for a lot mm -hmm. of us. We didn't understand a whole lot. Mm -hmm. And so it we kind of maybe in some ways corrected where we've got to explain the Bible and the gospel in a way that people understand. In my opinion, in some places it's gone so much so to, you know, we're just trying to be cool, hip or whatever. Right. And that's right. kind of in my circle, I think that can be a problem. And so to that group, I'd say, um, let the power of God's word transform lives. Don't try to um, water it down. Water, water it down, and you know wear skinny jeans and put hair product in, and think you're going to change the world. Mm -hmm. um, but let the let the message speak. Um, so don't compromise. Don't though. compromise. Yeah, and then you know, in the, in the other end, you know, I think tradition can be a limiting factor, which mm -hmm. is we're always going to do church the way it's been done. And you know, I think to be weird in the sense of um, never changing the message, but but adapting the method in order to communicate the message. I think that's kind of like we do church online, you know, in the early days of that, people said, you can't do that. Well, like, you know, I actually think you can. Um, and so well, you would, are. some would so call it weird cool. and I'd call that weird in a, in a God kind of way. Yeah. What kind of results are you seeing from sort of this, not trying to be traditional, but not trying to be hip for the sake of being hip, you know, and compromising. What kind of results are you seeing in people's lives? You know, I, I actually think today it's, some people say it's harder to reach people today than it was in the past. I actually think it's easier because I think the, the darkness is darker and so light really is, it transforms. And so I, you know, I think today when you're, when you, when you bring an authentic, transformed life and say, you know, here's where I was, here's what God's done, mm -hmm. and you, you just present it in a, in a real way, whatever that is, if it's, if it's, you know, a 58 year old being himself, or if it's a 28 year old being himself or herself, I think when you bring authenticity to the gospel in this crowd, without authenticity, you're dead today. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're trying to be something else, you're dead. But I, you know, I just see a lot of transformed lives. I see people really hungry. I think people are searching. 
And I actually, I love um, sharing God's word today because I think people, um, I, I think people are, are craving something spiritual and they may not know it's that Christ is the answer, but I think it's um, helping them see that is, is not as difficult as a lot of people think. Wow, that's really cool. Thank you for spending a couple of times with us. Yeah, my pleasure. Check out lifechurch.tv and uh, look for the upcoming book, Weird. Weird. Thank you. Thanks, man. All right.